Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims 4. It's a new game, a new series, and I'm hoping it's going to be bigger, better, and funnier than The Sims 3. You guys really wanted me to play as Matt again because apparently you all really liked my character Matt and you were sad when he died in The Sims 3, so we'll revive him and we'll make him again and uh, we'll probably throw some other Sims in there as well to make it more interesting, okay? So I got some shitty ass pictures of my face here that I'm going to try and use to, uh, to make my character look more like me than the last one, I suppose. But first, I just have to show you because I haven't actually done a video on The Sims 4 Create a Sim. I'm going to show you guys just how this thing works. It's actually pretty cool. So I'm going to make a young adult. I guess I can do that. Um, but yeah, so you can gra grab things and like drag them around and see these boobs. Let's make them nice and big and perky. That ass over here. Stick that off a mile and um, we're ready to go. You can also uh, you can also drag all their crazy facial features and make them look ugly as shit. That's what I like doing actually. Make the Sims look extremely ugly, and uh, and your game will be way more fun. Oh, look at that nose! It is getting big in here. How do I make it really long? There's, I made it really long once before. There we go. Zoom in on that shit. We need to. Z oh man, this woman is some kind of deformed ass bird right now. Look at that. The bridge her nose is so big you could drive across that shit. From the front, she looks kind of average, you know, not too bad at all, but from the side, she is one hideous creation. Damn. There's also a lot of features when it comes to the body. You can, uh, you can just ramp up muscles, and you can ramp up her fatness. Look at that, big and beautiful. I'm not going to get too much into it. You guys get the point right now. You can make some ugly people, and there will definitely be some ugly people added to this game. So let's go back and uh, create a mat. I don't know, how, how, do I, how do I delete this person? I need to start over, for the love of God. Alright, here we go. Let's, uh, let's create a Matt. Okay, let's see. What do we want Matt to have for a default walk style? Okay, flamboyant. You know what? I'm gonna go with the swagger. Look at that guy. He has got so much swag right now. It is unreal. What in the hell? Did I just create Justin Bieber by accident? That is weird ass shit. I need to get rid of that. Excuse me. Okay. Hats? Hats need to go. There's so many cool hats though! Look at this! Okay guys, something is going on here. I'm trying to get rid of the hat, but it won't work. Oh! Oh here- no? No? Is this part of his outfit? What in the hell is going on here? Clothes. Take off the clothes. There you go! We finally figured out how to get rid of that damn, uh, that damn hood and hat and thingy that was going on there. Okay, now we can create a mat. Alright, as per usual, we are looking for the big, thick, Juicy eyebrows that I have. Oh, those are those are pretty thick and juicy. The nose has to be made bigger. Go into the detailed modes here. I really like that you can do this. Look at this. You just like you just drag around, as I already showed you, and you can just do whatever you want with the face. You want your face to be all fucked up? I'll make your face all fucked up. You know, I'm gonna admit, guys, in the last game in The Sims 3, my sim did not look very manly at all. But this guy looks a lot more manly. Look at his jaw. It's all chiseled and shit. I don't like the fact that he's uh, standing up there with nothing on though. Let's give him some clothes. Alright, what would I look good in? Considering I always wear t-shirts all the time, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with one of these. Okay. And green, just cause Matt had a green shirt on in the last game as well. Ah, okay, don't yell at me, Jesus Christ. Okay guys, for formal wear, Matt is going to wear a nice uh, tucked in shirt and uh, and tie. <laughs> and he's not gonna wear any pants. Cause who needs pants? You know what, I think something is off here. I think the skin color might be a bit too dark on this guy. Let me, let me just see. Let me, okay, yeah, he's pretty damn dark. Why don't we lighten this guy up a bit? Lighten up, Matt. Damn it. There you go. Okay, that'll do. I think that's about it for, uh, for my character in terms of how he looks. I'm not super concerned about that right now. We gotta pick some aspirations up in here, okay? Fortune, food. I do love food a lot. But, as a YouTuber, I'm obviously an attention whore, right guys? And I want to be popular, so, uh, why not make me Jokestar? I want to tell jokes and become a famous comedian. That is, that is perfect. Okay. Shazam. Matt is going to be a famous comedian, guys. Okay, traits. Here we go. We're going to go with the, tr the traits here. We're going to get creative. We're going to be a, uh, we're going to have the computer one again. Where's the computer one? Computer dude. Computer dude. Nope. No computer dudes. Oh, geek. Would that be it, maybe? Uh, sci-fi, video games, yeah, that'll, that'll do. Okay. And our last trait. Uh, oh man, this is, this is tempting. I kind of want to make my sim insane. But I'm not sure here. Outgoing. We'll go with outgoing. Why don't we make him, like, like an actual Matt? Because that's me. A creative, geeky, outgoing... 
dude. Okay, now we have to create another person, because I said I'd throw someone else into this mix. We're going to create this weird dude, and he's going to be my roommate, and uh, he's just going to be a really socially awkward, uh, random-ass dude. Okay, let's randomize him. That's the best idea here. Randomize him until we get someone that looks weird. Okay, uh, Vanilla Ice is in the house. I'm not looking for a death either. I'm just looking for... Oh, man. I didn't know it was possible to make a sim look like this. He's like a gigantic marshmallow. You ever see the Michelin Man? That's this guy right here. Yeah, ponytail. Ponytail will do. Ponytail and a fedora, guys. A ponytail fedora. That's who I'm going to live with. Now, where is the neckbeard option? Can anyone give me a neckbeard option? I think this will do. I think this I think this will do. Oh man, that looks absolutely awful. Bright red socks and sandals. I think this guy really sticks out. It's time for his traits. I know, I got the perfect idea. This guy is going to write really strange fan fictions. That is going to be his thing and that's what that's going to what be what distinguishes my weird ass roommate from the rest of the people in the Sims. He's going to be a goofball, of course. Exactly. A bookworm, obviously, because he's going to be writing books. He's going to be reading all about, like, books and shit. And he's going to be a loner. A goofball bookworm loner. And that is our dude. Wait, we haven't given him a name yet. We had to give him a name. Okay, what are we going to call this guy? Jeremy Jingle Bottom. Don't you just love that name? Jeremy Jingle Bottom. Matt Shea and Jeremy Jingle Bottom. I, I, think, I think I just about covered everything here, guys. Maybe we just need to give Matt... Just, just a bit of a booty. <laughs> no, no, I gotta, I gotta take that back. Okay, there you go. I honestly have no logical thing to call this. It's like just polar opposites. Let me just call it Polar House. No, we're not from the North Pole. We're just a lot different. Oh yeah, here we go. All right. I don't. I wonder what they'll do if we uh, don't actually give him anything. If we just leave them there by themselves. What do you think they'll do? Okay, they're gonna pull out their uh, their phones. I guess that's a phone. It might be a calculator. It's an awful ugly ass phone. I know that. All right. So uh, play some Flappy Bird, and I'll come back to you later. I guess. So house, a house. We gotta have enough room for like two little bedrooms. Maybe off to the side here. Maybe a house that big should do. Okay. But wait, what about a foundation? Need a foundation. Okay. Raise the height. No, 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 no. Wait, wait whoa, that's cool. You can have massive walls in this game. Oh, I am tripping balls here. The confusion is strong in this one. I have no idea. Press the enter button. No, that's not right. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know what any of these buttons do. I'm going to assume it's straightforward, and I'm just going to put myself a little, uh, a little set of stairs out here. Okay, here's the plan. Take our walls. Build them here. Like this. Boom. And we'll put two beds in here for us to sleep in. And then we'll have this place here for watching TV and shit. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I need a bathroom in my house, don't I? Not gonna happen. There's just not enough room for a bathroom. We're making an outhouse. If you want to take a dump, or, you know, take a shower, or any kind of those fun things that you do in a bathroom, you're just gonna go to have to go out to the outhouse, okay? That's just the way life works sometimes. You can't always get what you want, guys. So take a shit outside. I almost forgot to put a nice big window in the front, though. That would have been disastrous. Apparently the bedroom's still not long enough for for uh, for the beds. But I have an idea. I have a wonderful idea. It's called it's called taking walls and fucking with them. Okay. This wall is going to come out, and then this one is going to go in. As far as it can. So we're going to have a bed on that wall, and we're going to have an identical bed on this wall. And that's where Matt and his cool-ass roommate are going to sleep. So now that I've, uh, you know, revamped the design a little bit, you might be thinking, Hey Matt, now you can, uh, now you can put, uh, a bathroom here and you don't need to have them use an outhouse. And, uh, the answer to that is shut up. Oh, damn, look at that. Isn't that fancy? We're gonna put a computer around there. <gasps> look at all these computers, man. There we go. Nice mid-range computer. The nice computer chair to go with it. What's this? What the hell is this thing? It's new. But I just got the games. Everything is new. For our kitchen, we're going to have a nice table next to the wall here. It's going to have two uh, two nice little little chairs. Maybe maybe make it there, one like that and uh, one like that. That's 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 the way that's going to work. And uh, it looks kind of empty here, so we're going to put a rug in. And if we've got anything, it's too bad. Holy shit, look at that. 
happy family dinosaur fucking rug. That is what we're putting in our living room. Mmm. I'm gonna assume that nothing is missing. I'm gonna assume that our house is perfect. And now we're gonna live. We're gonna go to live mode. And we're gonna find out what the hell is going on here. Look! You see that? Jeremy Jinglebottom is already making a friend. What in the hell was that? Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. The conversation is getting even worse between Jeremy Jinglebottom and Mr. Fancy Pants jo Joffrey Landgrab. That's Joffrey? Jeffrey or whatever the hell? He just farted. He just farted, and now he's just laughing about it. Meanwhile, the entire town is gathered around to our little circle jerk here. This lady's doing push-ups, so we're just gonna pretend she's not there. Okay, now we got two people doing push-ups on the sidewalk right next to my house. Let's just uh, let's just be rude to them, and uh, and I'll yell at her, and maybe they'll leave. Okay, you see that? This is what I'm talking about. Jeremy, you are one weird-ass dude. Three people. Three people have to have done push-ups. Alright, Dundawalake. There's been a lot of shit going on here. And, uh... I don't really know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. And this guy's outfit is hurting my eyes, but I'm going to, uh... I'm gonna go do some cooking, because apparently my sim is inspired to cook. Now the cool thing about this game is apparently you can multitask, so while you uh, do one thing you can also do something else. Don't ask me what kind of things I can do, the only thing I can do right now is go jogging, and I highly doubt that I can jog and cook at the same time. But if I can, I'll be super impressed. So I guess I'm just gonna let him cook, and then we'll figure out more about that later. Meanwhile, Matt is over here playing Tetris like a boss. Maybe we should find a job, maybe we should get these two guys jobs. How about that? Matt, you find yourself a job now, buddy. Aha! Here we go. Amateur Entertainer. Matt said he wanted to be a uh, world famous comedian or whatever. I think this might be the path we need to take. As for uh, as for Jeremy over here, I think Mr. Jingle Bottom is actually going to be unemployed because we're going to make him be the uh, be the writer of the house. So we're gonna we're gonna go how the hell write? There we go. That's the one. Write a genre book. Children's. You can't write fan fictions about children who get thrown in jail or some shit. Okay, uh, Matt. I know, I know, like, you know, you're trying to be nice, but I'm trying to practice my writing at the moment, and, uh, this whole multitasking thing is not gonna go well. So if you could maybe just go to hell. Okay, he's getting closer to me. It's time to find out what this multitasking shit's gonna, gonna be like. Okay, he's eating a salad. He's just eating a salad. Looking ahead, blandly, as he eats his salad. What could be more fulfilling than this salad? Oh, oh, something just happened. Matt just ate his first salad. Congratulations. I don't, I don't know. I'm guessing Jeremy did something. Jeremy, did you do something? <gasps> Check out that big booty woman over there, Jeremy. Her name is Laura Lee Swift. Get yourself over there for a friendly introduction, okay? Jeremy and Laura Lee don't know. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is Matt doing? Chatting with you? Nah, I ain't chatting with you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to let you get your freak on with this lady over here. Matt, why don't you just go to bed? Seriously, just go to bed. You're clearly, you're clearly not uh, cut out for this whole being a bro thing. She really does not look like she's enjoying this conversation. She looks like she's kind of just uh, smiling, and uh, <laughs> it really looks like she's, uh, she's, she's kind of like trying to be friendly about it, but she really hates what's going on. And now she's all alone, so she's gonna leave. Obviously, does she live across the road? I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. No, nope, jump. She. We're gonna follow her and find out where she lives. Oh, this isn't creepy. Oh, she's gone. Okay, someone is happily walking towards our house, Jeremy. Karina Trotter. She's really having a trot, all right. Look at that. Damn. You know what, Matt? Go ahead and write a genre book. It'll be a children's book. Fine. It'll be a children's book. I hope we get the name of the book. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. We're gonna name this book. Barney and the Bee. J because that that guy in Barney is called BJ but it's also sexually suggestive. I'm on the uh I'm on the dangerous side of children writing right now. What would you how would you describe this book? Barney has some fun with his old pal BJ. Is it a sexual fan fiction or isn't it? That's how we're going to sell it to kids. All right guys. Well, I guess I should end this video here. We've got uh, Matt having a nice nap. His bed is huge. Like what the hell is going on in here? Does he have someone there with him? Is he like harboring a midget inside his bed? We will have to find out in the next episode. And as for Jeremy, we'll uh, we'll also find out if his 
Barney fan fiction sells any good. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was The Sims 4. I really hope you enjoy this series. If you guys would like to see more, and I'm hoping that you do, please give this video a like. It would be really awesome if we could get 200 oh. likes on this video. I know that's a huge number of likes, but uh, considering this is the start of a series, and I believe my uh, the start of my Sims series currently, Sims 3 series currently has uh, 250 likes or something, I think it's possible. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.